Bro, that's the rooftop, the bird gonna see us. Bro, what do you mean finna kill yourself? Bro, don't jump off the roof, huh? Come on, huh? Looks like he just ran towards the north side of the building. You're now tuning in with Game Files TV. It's your boy Juice, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. Today we got a little video on Sleep from Rolling 40s out of Los Angeles. You know, a few days ago he had went viral for going on a high-speed chase with his baby mama and his baby in the car. And he was on Instagram Live the whole time. Prior to that, last year, in September, he had actually went on Instagram Live while he was getting bumped up on a home invasion where his co-defendant had jumped off the roof. So that was a pretty crazy situation. So I'm going to play some of the footage from his Instagram Lives and some of the body cam footage and the news footage. All right, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to bang it out. It's over. This life, cuz. It's we, over. We might as well, we might it's as well, over. We might as well kill ourselves. Bro, Billy not right here. They home I will bang it out. If you grab a Billy, I will bang it out. Where is it? It's over there. It's in there. The dog right there, though. Oh. Oh. Uh. You can go kill ourselves, bro. They got point, bro. I'm not killing myself. What the fuck? Oh. Come on, bro. You're not going to make it up this, bro. Uh, Where the door? Bro, it's over. I don't got enough bail for this, nigga. Oh. oh. It's over. It's over. It's over. Forehead is over. Bro, Greg, it's over. They got point, they tackle cut, huh? Fuck, uh, it's over. It's over. Oh, get my baby. Get my baby, I'm gonna bang it up. That's our best way. Go get the hammer, I'm gonna act like this bro, they gonna shoot me. They gonna shoot me. You gonna grab a baby? Huh? That's what you want to do? Yeah, bro. I'm not doing what I can't do my feet, cuz. Fuck, cuz. Oh, grab a blower, i bang it up. <laughs> Hurry up. They call it SWAT. They call it SWAT. I'm gonna get enough rounds to go at it with SWAT. If we get that pistol, I'll I do it. It's over, cuz. Fuck. Uh -huh. Hey, got point it's over with. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> I can't even breathe. Hey, what you doing? What you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Our best bet to lay on somebody's patio. Look, we can climb over. Look. Eight sensors. There's eight sensors. Lay on somebody's patio. Five lay on somebody's patio. I'm in the low bottoms. Fuck, my like, bro, that's the rooftop. The bird gonna see us. Bro, what do you mean you finna kill yourself? Bro, don't jump off the roof. Come on, bro. That's not good. Nah, come on, bro. That's it. Bro, you might as well grab a boomer on the suicide mission if you wanna do that. Come on, bro. Bro, you crypt that's not good. Bro, you might as You think I'm still tied up in there? Y'all locked the door, huh? Yeah. Fuck. You got that point up the keys. It's over, bro. Bro, we better off taking our chances in the garage. Bro, I'm not jumping off no fucking movie. Oh, we're not. Right now, we're tired here. When we still in the county, still in a million dollars. I'm finna get the county thug with my boy, cuz. That's dead. Come on, I'll tell you, I'm just gonna let him get me, It's over. 
Hey, what are you doing, bro? Come on. Bro, don't kill yourself, God. <sighs> oh, bro. Bro, already take your chance of letting the police kill you, bro. Don't be no fucking coward. Bro, that's some soft shit. Bro, the crib. Ain't you from 50s? Why are we going to the top floor? We trapped. We can't dive off the roof. We can't. Bro, I'm not going to kill myself, bro. I'd rather fucking go in there and bang out with them. Whoa. Hey, hey. Say you can grab him. Why do you have to go in the apartment? Strangle him. Bro, I can't go to jail, cuz. Joe, our life is not up. It's over. It's over. Bro, it's over, Tom. They call us what? Newton patrol officers responded to a radio call for robbery suspects there now in an apartment building in the 1100 block of East 33rd Street. Shortly after receiving the initial radio call, additional details were provided, which indicated that four suspects had reportedly entered an apartment, bound a tenant, and placed a blanket over his head and stole the keys to his car. It was further reported that the suspects were possibly still at the location and attempting to force their way into other apartments. As a result, the radio call was upgraded to a hot prowl burglary. Looks like he just ran towards the north side of the building. Hey, he's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. You ready? Hey! Go move! Go move! Go move! Don't reach for your race back! Hey! 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 hey. Don't! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Back up! Don't do it! Don't move! Don't move! Investigators recovered the six and a half inch hammer Askew was armed with at scene and booked it as evidence. Additionally, prior to the officer's arrival, the suspects had been observed on security footage to be in possession of a firearm while in the courtyard on the premises. Investigators were able to locate and recover the loaded semi-automatic Smith & Wesson pistol that was in the suspect's possession at scene and also booked it as evidence. All four suspects were arrested and booked for robbery. On September 19, 2023, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed the following charges against Flanoy, Flockhart, Askew, and Henderson. One count of home invasion robbery, one count of residential burglary, and one count of felony offense against a person over 65 years of age. The following additional charge was also filed against Flanoy and Henderson personal use of a firearm during a felony. Aaron Flanoy is a 22-year-old resident of Los Angeles.
Justice Lockhart is a 25-year-old resident of Los Angeles. Jeffrey Eskew is a 27-year-old resident of Los Angeles. Dayon Henderson is a 20-year-old resident of Los Angeles. Yeah, so nine months later after this arrest, he was able to bail out in May of 2024 on the ankle monitor. But I guess while he was out on bail, he wasn't really staying out the way because on this high-speed chase, he was wanted for another robbery. Kill us! What are you talking about? I'm not going to kill y'all, I promise. Bro, just let us out the court, bro. bro. this is sheriffs. They going to kill me for some shit that I did. Bro, if you pull over and put your hands They going to kill me, cuz. Yeah, yeah, you got to pull over and put your hands up, bro. My fucking baby's in the car, bro. Bro, just pull over and put your hands up, bro. My baby is in the car, Dayan. Bro, my baby is in here, bro. You Bro, Dayan, just pull over. I let us out, bro. Fuck, cuz, cuz these bitch ass snoover niggas, cuz. Bro, just let us out, bro. Let us out. Bro, I'm not even supposed to be in this shit right now. Bro, let us out, Dayan. Dayan, let us out, bro. It's over with. Dayan, let us the fuck out. Oh, stop this Bro, no, I'm not relaxing when you got my baby in the car and they got guns pointed to the car and they about to hit the you're not thinking about your baby right now. You finna get our baby too, bro. They bro, they gonna smoke me. You already did it the first time, bro. Don't do this shit again, bro. Bro, I love y'all. I'm never bro. gonna see y'all again. Bro, we nah. love you more, bro. You is gonna see us again, but you gotta pull over, bro. You have to, bro. Pull over with your hands in the air, Dayan. Bro, it's over with. Bro, Dayan, pull over. Bro, Dayan, pull over. Shit about your baby, bro. It's I do. I love both of y'all. They pulled the fuck over, bro. What the bro? fuck you, you think finna, I live for? Bro, you finna get us fucking killed, bro. They got guns pointed to the car, bro. Bro, oh my god, they all you can't be fucking serious right now, bro. Pull over, let us out. For some shit that bro, I did. Let us out of fucking matter. Who the fuck did it? Let me the fuck out with my fucking baby. I'm yeah. not gonna keep telling you, bro. Pull the fuck over. Give me another bro. bottle of water. Bro, it Give ain't me. no fucking water. It's bro. in the bag. I'll put two. Bro, get out, bro. Bro, bro I promise I'm not gonna do nothing to put you on. Bro, bro. yeah, you look at what the fuck you doing. You talking about you not gonna put us in danger. You the last thing you do is should be on fucking live. The fuck? And you sit here on live like this shit is a fucking game to you, bro. My fucking baby's in danger. Bro, bro this is my baby too. Okay, you then put the fuck over if you give a fuck about her, bro. Let us the fuck out, bro. Bro, let us out. Oh, my God. Y'all let us out. Bro, let me and my baby out. Bro, let us out and just run, bro. Let us out. Y'all, bro, let us out. You going to get out? Bro. Call your mom. I don't want you to just be out here. Bro, you need to run, bro. They gonna stay on your car, they gonna harass y'all. Okay, then that's fine, bro, but they're not gonna kill us, bro. I'm tired of putting y'all through this. I don't do this. Okay, then fuck over, bro. Pull over. Bro, I don't want to go back to jail. I don't. Bro, I get it, but at the end of the day, it's over, bro. It's over. It's reality. Reality check, bro. Just stop. Pull over, because you finna get us hurt, bro. I can't go out like this. Bro, my fucking baby's in the car, bro. You really want to risk our fucking baby's life, bro? Are you serious? Bro, I promise that's why I'm not driving crazy. Bro, Dayan, look at what you're doing. You're going in front of cars. You about to get us killed. Oh. Bro, Dayan, just pull over with your hands in the air, bro. That's your best bet. Our fucking baby's in the car. Bro, Dayan, pull over. Bro, Dayan, oh. just pull can't over. No, can't nobody help me right now that they finna come get me.
Bro, you think I want to push y'all through some shit like I this? I love you. What the fuck you I doing? I don't. Look what you're doing, though. What the fuck? You got my baby in a whole high speed chase, bro. Pull the fuck over because they got guns pointing, bro. bro. Stop, bro. Stop trying to make me think about that, bro. Fuck. Bro, because it's reality, bro. What the fuck? Bro, you think I want to fucking put my baby in some shit like bro, this? Look at what you're doing, bro. Bro, oh, I got y'all. No, Believe me when I say this, I bro. got y'all. No, you do not, bro. Bro, y'all all I fucking got. What the fuck do you mean? Bro, if we're all we got, why are you doing this? Bro, you serious? Bro, pull over, bro. Let me see my baby before bro, I get I out. I can't take her out the car seat, bro. Let me see my baby, bro. Bro, I can't take her out bro, the car seat. Bro, I'm never going to see her again after she wants to let me see her. Bro, then pull over so you can see is back into pursuit now so this unit has picked up the chase is officially back in pursuit but we're right here uh, coming back out onto another minor street the airship's still overhead dead end street he's got nowhere to go they can, they can block him in right here this could be it nowhere to go you can see the sign there no outlet and let's see this is going to have to be it unless he tries to ram his way through those deputies they're going to set up a spike strip behind those deputies but it looks like in a short distance here he's going to have a cul-de-sac, nowhere to go, a gate that's blocking every way, and they're going to jump out and run, or they're going to stay placed. No, nope, they're going to back up. That's never good to back up into those deputies. They better uh, just give it up here uh, because they have nowhere to go. Guns are drawn. They have a spike strip set up behind them in case the car gets away. So now we'll see if they comply and get out of the vehicle and surrender. Made the wrong turn. Yeah, and, and, and you just hope for the sake of these people in this car, they make the right decision here. Mm -hmm. Because a lot is on the line, and, and, and we've seen these things go south, uh, and, and it potentially can be miscommunication. But you're, you're listening to the orders from the deputies, and you're complying, and you're surrendering. It's over. Uh, they, they've got nowhere to go, and, and clearly they're contemplating that now, and deputies waiting this out. Uh, w we knew it was over when they made that turn into what we now know is a neighborhood this driver is not familiar with. You saw the sign that said no outlet, and that pretty much sealed their fate in this situation. I mean, and if you pull out a little bit, we can see the enormous uh, response here and the number of deputies growing by the minute as this situation uh remains in a standoff situation and, and you'll see more more resources coming in here uh, by the minute yeah they are blocked in and uh the guns are drawn and again what we understand is the passenger is the robbery suspect uh wanted for an armed robbery we're not sure if that suspect uh, in the passenger seat is armed um, but obviously with the information that it was an armed robbery those deputies are treating this as if he has a gun and uh, that we have the um, driver who picked up the suspect and decided to uh, you know flee and the pursuit began so this has been going on for a little over half an hour or so um, that started off in, in Hawthorne with Hawthorne PD um, in pursuit then it was handed over to the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department uh, they are there right now um, waiting and talking to this suspect um, and suspects rather um, and and trying to coax them out of this car uh, and so that this can all end peacefully with them in custody Gil, we don't know for sure, uh, from what I can tell, how many people are in the car. The driver and at least one passenger, potentially more? There could be more. Cer certainly uh, the driver and the, and the uh, robbery suspect that jumped into the vehicle and possibly other passengers. It's hard to look into that back window because it's heavily tinted. The driver did have the window uh, partially down there for for a minute or two and then put it back up so that's not a good sign they want those keys to the vehicle to be thrown out on the ground so that they can be secure in moving forward with making the arrest but at this point they're refusing to do that but nowhere to go absolutely nowhere to go they would have to ram those officers to get out of here or ram those gates but uh, they look like they're very uh, fortified here i'll come out to a wider shot so you get a better perspective of what we're looking at the area here it's uh, kind of hilly in there. There's nowhere to go. There's an open field there uh, up at the top of the screen. But really, uh, they would be going driving into nowhere.
And so uh, the sheriff's department uh, will begin a waiting game here. And there you go. Put a spike strip right behind the car. And it looks like the plan to surrender uh, is underway by the suspects. So this driver looks like he's trying to or she trying to plea with deputies uh, in some manner. Clearly, there go the keys. And that's going to be the first step. They need to see him on the ground. Uh, that's what they're commanding the suspect to do. Uh, obviously, uh, there's a situation here uh, where the suspect's trying to communicate something other than what deputies want, mm -hmm. uh, which creates uh, uh, a, an elevated situation potentially as well. They want those keys on the ground, and at this point, the suspect isn't doing it. Yeah, he's got them in his hands, oh. and uh, it's a simple move. Uh, just drop those keys, and uh, you know we can move on one by one with the suspects, uh, but pleading to the officers for whatever uh, it is that he's trying to say there, um, but, but still not following uh, the commands that would make everything uh, a little bit safer for everyone. So here we go, does he drop them? There, there. All oh, there right, step goes. one, uh, and, and at this point, uh, they're gonna have him get out of the car and one would hope that, that the suspect complies. Again, there's a, at least one passenger in this car as well. So uh, this is potentially quite a process here for deputies uh, to bring this to a safe conclusion. Uh, we, again, we don't know uh, how many passengers beyond the one that we know is in the passenger front seat uh, may be in this car. Uh, the, tin, the tinted windows are preventing law enforcement even potentially from knowing the answer to that. So uh, they're dealing with a situation again where they have to assume at least one of these people may be armed. This was an armed robbery uh, these suspects are wanted for. Uh, and so, you know, the, the potential for at least one of them to be armed, law enforcement's going to consider that uh, and, and assume that he or she is armed. There goes a water bottle, it looks like. Uh, but again, they're going to they're going to want this suspect to open the door. Hard to say uh, without hearing what, what's being said. You may or may not hear what's being said over the scanner uh, or, or some iteration of it. But there you go. There's what deputies want to see. Is that a see. baby? Is that a baby? Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. Good yes. grief. Good grief. Oh wow. my gosh. That's very troubling. A very young and child in the lap of this uh, of this suspect who has been driving and, and now it looks like there are more people than the yeah. two people that we expected uh, to be inside and here is a baby oh, oh my gosh a very young child it couldn't be uh, like more than six months old that is the most troubling aspect of all of this to see to see something like that so obviously that's what the suspect was was trying to communicate to them I have a baby uh, mm -hmm. obviously th there's a way to deal with this situation uh, law enforcement's been trained uh, in a situation like this to deal with the potential for anything including this so uh, th there's a way to bring this to a safe conclusion Gil can you see anything? from your vantage point that would indicate uh, how many people might be in this car? Well, certainly the rear passenger opened that door. It looked like it might have been a female, hard to tell. It looked like the driver handed the baby back to that person, is now talking to that person. The baby uh, appears to be with that person either in the back or possibly someone in the front passenger seat. We haven't seen any movement there. The driver pretty upset about it. But all they're going to want him to do right now is to get out. He's already taken his jacket off. They're, they're going to want to see his waistband. He's, they're going to want him to move away from the car and uh, possibly lay down on the ground. Then they'll call each person out. So uh, oh, here comes the passenger in the back. This is a female, looks like. Uh, a little hard to tell. Yes. Yep. With the baby. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, yep. And just to think so of uh, how be... stressful that, that drive, you know, I mean, as he says goodbye, it looks like that that is the baby's mother and uh, that is his oh. baby. And um, he knows he's going to be going away for, for a long time, for some time now. And uh, so probably... To uh, risk the life mm -hmm. of a child, to risk the lives of the public, is just the most troubling thing to see. And, 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 the, and this went on and on and on. 
So obviously cool. you've got the, the, what appears to be the mother uh, who will now be at the very least detained, taken into custody. Uh, Child and Protective Services will be involved, uh, potentially extended family. Obviously they, they sort those things out in the hours and days ahead. But uh, again, a question of who, who else might be in this car. Um, you have the driver and the initial understanding we had was that the passenger uh, in this car, a passenger, uh, was involved in some sort of armed robbery, uh, which is why Hawthorne PD initially uh, began pursuing that passenger. We don't know if the passenger ultimately is the female there who had the child. Uh, this is all yet to be sorted out. Uh, we're seeing this in real time as you are, but just most troubling to see a, a young child uh, put at such grave risk for such an extended period of time. So as you can see, he's been taken back into custody. So he's in the L.A. County Jail right now as we speak. Kind of a messed up situation since he had his baby in the car. And his baby mother is technically an accessory now. She could actually lose custody of the baby. Matter of fact, my guess is the baby's with CPS right now. Most likely she's out on bail right now. But she's going to have to fight to get the baby back. And old boy, if you look at his previous charges, he had a home invasion, which is a strike a residential burglary, which is another strike. And now on this case, he's gonna be fighting a robbery, which is another strike. So that's three strikes right there. So off the rip, he's gonna be fighting a life sentence. You know, hopefully he doesn't have to get life. Hopefully he's smart enough to take a deal. I'm sure the DA will give him something in the double digits. You know, it's gonna be a hard pill to swallow, but it's definitely better than a life sentence because if you catch life, it's up to the parole board for them to release you. And unless you're behind a wall being squeaky clean, it's really hard to make board unless you completely out the way. So, yeah, man, that's the end of this story, man. Hope everything works out for the baby mother and the baby. As far as old boy goes, you know, just try to make the best out of a bad situation. Don't turn down no fades. And always remember, this is the lifestyle you signed up for.